Welcome back to That Handicapping Show. I'm Claire Novak, joined once again by Tom Lamara. This week, I let Tom pick the race we were going to handicap, and that means the $500,000 Los Alamitos Derby Grade 2 at, obviously, Los Alamitos. So, Tom, in this race, we have Shared Belief coming back to Stakes Company and also making his dirt debut. We have some other good horses in here, such as Candy Boy, who comes off his 13th in the Kentucky Derby, and a couple of newcomers who have won graded stakes and might have a chance to step it up a notch. So, what are your thoughts going into this race at Los Al? Well, we should preface this first with the uh, note that um, this is the first weekend of racing at Los Alamitos on the expanded one-mile track. And uh, we're shooting the show on Thursday. They still haven't run a race on it yet, so we really don't know how, it'll play. how it's going to play. Yeah. It has a very, very long home stretch. We know more than 1,300 feet. Mm -hmm. And uh, it should be interesting, but outside of that, I think it's a three-horse race. Um, you mentioned uh, the returning champion, Shared Belief, who did win a six-furlong sprint in his return on Tapita at Golden Gate. Uh, Candy Boy, I think... Uh, we just need to toss his effort in the Kentucky Derby. He's been working extremely well at Santa Anita. And of course, Can the Man came back and uh, won the Affirm a grade three in his first start at Santa Anita. Um, Candy Boy and Can the Man, of course, proven on dirt. Shared belief uh, we haven't seen yet, so this should be interesting. I think uh, Can the Man will probably try to get the lead inside of Shared Belief. Still like shared belief, but I think uh, it may be Candy Boy that gets the best trip, and he's my top pick. And actually, I have to go with him as well. He served me very well in the Santa Anita Derby when I picked the straight trifecta. And whoa, big whoop, because it was basically pretty obvious. California mm. Chrome won. Opportunity was second. Candy Boy was third in that race. And actually, since he broke his maiden, this horse has been no worse than that third. And like you said, in the Kentucky Derby, very troubled trip, had to take up sharply. And pretty much you can, you can toss that effort. So the steady work pattern, um, the past performances that he has shown, uh, really great runner. And so I'm gonna pick him as well. Share belief I'll go second. Um, you know, the, we have questions about the dirt and also stretching back out. He did go wire to wire in that return uh, six furlongs. So that's my second and can the man. I, I really do think actually I was toying between if I put the Baffert horse on top. Uh, he won the affirmed June 7th beat friends with K-Mill who's also in here, but he really needs to improve his speed figures to compete with uh, some of these other top horses. So I'm going to put him third. All right. You have a long shot pick just in case, or I you don't know, personally. So You know what I was looking at is this horse, Top Fortitude. Um, he went out to Belmont to run in the Woody Stevens. He was easily distanced by Bayern, but he was second um, in that group. The only angle, he's a grade three winner. The only angle that I would have is that Kayla Straw gets back on him and they're two for two. He's never been beaten with her on. And so if she gets them out again, I mean, you might want to take a look at a horse like that. I think it'll be interesting to see how the pace scenario sets mm -hmm. up with shared belief and uh, can the man. So maybe there will be somebody picking up the pieces. But in that case, I think it does set up well for Candy Boy. Well, he's also never been two turns before. He's yeah. never been further than seven furlongs. Exactly. And actually, um, you know, he showed pretty good speed in the Las Barrera, which he did win, the grade three that you mentioned. Mm -hmm. So maybe he's a pace factor. Uh, but with him, um, I think he will make a really good uh, sprinter. Yeah. Um, but I do want to see how well he handles the mile and an eighth. We'll see. But Candy Boy is my top pick. All righty. Well, yeah. we wish you the best of luck this weekend. Of course, a great weekend of racing all around the country. And Belmont has their big day with some great graded stakes there. So take a look at that card. And also, don't forget Delaware. Yes. And uh, good racing across the country. We'll keep you posted at bloodhorse.com. Thanks, as always, to Briss for the PPs. Thank you for watching The Handicapping Show.